South Korea has seen a number of new cases from cluster infections linked to churches and to one of the largest hospitals in Seoul. The number of new daily cases occurring locally has risen back above 100 today, about a fourth of them untraceable. Che Won Jong reports. The number of local infections in South Korea has jumped back into triple digits after dropping below 100 for three days in a row. As of Wednesday, the nation reported 113 new cases. Out of them, 105 were local infections. This brings the total number of cases to 22,504. No additional deaths were reported, keeping the death toll at 367. Since the 3rd of September, the number of new cases has shown a downward trend, but hasn't quite fallen into double digits yet. Due to the lingering cases of cluster infection and untraceable cases, the health authorities have banned political rallies in central Seoul on the National Foundation Day on October 3rd. If the rallies still continue, the government will respond in accordance with laws and principles to protect lives and public safety. The number of untraceable cases is also increasing across the nation. Out of the 2,055 cases from the September 3rd to September 16th, 522 cases are still under investigation. More than one in four new cases are still unable to be traced. Health authorities are concerned that people moving around the country over the upcoming Chuseok holiday could lead to more spikes. On Tuesday, a man who was confirmed with the COVID-19 was caught while traveling by KTX train from Seoul, intentionally violating self-isolation. Chae Won-jung, Arirang News.